hello there my linen things family and friends welcome on back to the channel guys yes y'all i'm back with another dollar tree haul for you guys but at the very end of this i have a beautiful beautiful um ray done haul slash love mail oh my gosh that is over the moon exciting i cannot wait to get to that part but first we're going to take care of the Dollar Tree haul. And right before we do the Dollar Tree haul, welcome all my subbies. Thank you so much for stopping by again and sharing some a few minutes with me just to see what treasures did I find now at the Dollar Tree. And also just chilling and, and seeing, hey, what's out there? You know, what may be coming to your stores, what may be in your stores right now? That's what I love so much about Dollar Tree hauls. There are a couple of channels that I absolutely love to watch. And as a matter of fact, I might put them down in my uh, comment section. So you can go over and check out their channels because it's like all Dollar Trees are not created equal. So sometimes you may find something in your state or in your town and then someone else somewhere somewhere else find something totally different totally awesome and it's like oh my goodness i hope we get that too so we're gonna jump into that but y'all know what we gotta do before we do that right we gotta get the announcements right so it is i see you time guys i see you is my shout out comment of the day and birthday love if there is birthday love to give and today there is birthday love today is the kid's grandpa birthday no nope. his birthday was yesterday i'm giving shout out love to him today since i'm doing the video today but his birthday was yesterday so happy birthday granddaddy and then our comment of the day is coming from kathy and then i do have a little bit of one coming from my little my daughter my younger daughter's bestie i hear a lot of people watch my channels and they might not always comment in the comment section but i was really really shocked because she actually commented in the comment section for my mother's day so my last video guys was the mother's day video and you know that's why i get my comment of the day from uh, my last video so i have to read what miss riley said guys so we're gonna go to our comment of the day but we have comments of the day so my first comment is coming from Kathy, and Kathy says, now my screen want to go blank, y'all. I have to find it again. Okay. You look fabulous. Happy Mother's Day, sweetie. You have such thoughtful girls. So happy for you. Love your girl, XOXO. God bless you your night i had a wonderful mother's day y'all wonderful um and i also have from uh, my daughter's bestie she says happy mother's day you look so pretty and with the smiley face and hearts and i was like oh my goodness that is so sweet thank you riley for always watching my videos i just wanted to say much love to you thank you for giving love to the channel and you were brave enough to make a comment <laughs> so guys if you are watching and you may not comment all the time Please know I appreciate you viewers as well. Okay, guys. So now we're going to jump into the haul. Um, in the thumbnail, y'all, is it just me or did spring just say, no, I'm not coming. Um, summer's coming in. Oh, my gosh, guys. It is so warm here. It is 90 degrees here in Illinois. Like, I don't know what happened. We went from 50s, like, last week to uh 90s today it's like spring never sprung it never came we went straight from one thing fall right into summer oh my gosh the the house was just so hot and so humid so um i had to pick some of these up y'all i had to get some italian ices um i love that dollar tree carries a lot of like the popsicle type ice creams and things like that so your girl had to pick some of these up because I was like, yeah, I'm going to throw these in the freezer. These are really, really on time right now. They do have a multiple um, variety of the different flavors. Um, they actually had a berry in this one. So this one is just the authentic um, Italian ices, but they had a berry flavor as well. And then there are other kinds, period. But yeah, I got some of that, y'all, because, oh my gosh, it is hot. Next that you see and that you may have saw in the thumbnail is this. Uh, it says Harriet Claridge, but they are the little um, wafer cookies, but I had never seen this. So it says luxury cappuccino wafers. What caught my eye was the cute little bear. Look at that. I was wondering, what is that in the can? And I, I think I came across this little can a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't like go up to it and see what it was. 
Um, I just saw like this little bear smiling and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna grab that this time just because of the can y'all just because of the can It's just so cute, but they are cappuccino flavored Okay So I had to grab that because I would love to try that. I'm, I'm a coffee girl I like different flavored coffees and stuff. So I had to taste that y'all and then a couple other things It's some snacks y'all. I was on the snack run. I guess a little bit today for a dollar tree so dollar tree got a lot of hers chips so this company hers they had a lot and i'm going to be posting probably some of the pictures on my community tab after this but yes y'all so they had these jalapeno poppers um i don't think i've ever had this one but hers has another one that's like a barbecue cheddar and it's a puff as well mm, so so good i love that one so i figured i'll give this one a try as well i have a friend that lives in wisconsin and he swears by those he says those are so good so i'm gonna try that but then and i already got into this one y'all the hers had the stubs barbecue puffs as well and so this one is the sticky sweet and we actually had the sticky sweet barbecue sauce. I have tried it before and I absolutely love it. So that's what made me pick up the chip to see if I like it. Now, I'm not going to say it tastes like the barbecue sauce to me. The barbecue sauce is better, but it's okay. You know, I'll eat them. They're they're okay. But um, the barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce is way better, y'all. Because it is sweet. And the chip itself, I'm not getting the sweet that I think I get from the real barbecue sauce. Just not getting that. But it still has a tasty flavor to it. I ran again into some of those cute little cereals. My One of my faves, the Raisin Bran Crunch. Again, I know it's not the biggest deal you can get, you know, when it comes to cereal. Because DT does sometimes have, have uh, whole boxes of cereal for $125. And when I see those, I get those. But I, I, I don't know. I love getting this. I just, I just love it. And I keep forgetting to get like the big box of that. Because that would be more economical to get the big box and just put it in my bowl. But these are just, they're just so quick to throw in the work bag, y'all. So I grabbed another couple of those. And then because it is so hot, I grabbed some things to make tuna, y'all. I am going to be making tuna maybe tomorrow. So I did grab some relish from the Dollar Tree. I like this size. Okay, so 5 fluid ounces, 11.5, I'm sorry, 11.5 fluid ounces so i've just picked up some relish to go in that tuna salad sorry guys and i also picked up this thing right here is just so cute to me i also picked up the mini miracle whip y'all i think this thing is so cute um i am not i don't like mayo and things of this texture for some reason I'm not a mayo girl and so but if I make tuna salad I have to have something like mayo or miracle whip or sal salad dressing or something so I usually go with the miracle whip but I don't have mayo and miracle whip on hand in the house hardly ever because I don't eat it now my girls do like mayo on sandwiches so I have purchased the Mueller's mayo from Dollar Tree the girls really liked it they had that on their sub sandwiches, but other than that, your girl do not buy mayo because it's like we, I will never buy a big jar of mayo because I just won't. I, I won't use it. It'll go to waste. But because I'm going to be making tuna, I grabbed a little Miracle Whip and of course I had to have a little mustard and I do think I just got this because it was cute too, y'all. Um, and I am really low on mustard, but I do feel like the other mustard bottle was way bigger and is probably a better buy. I just got this because again, it's not something I'm going to use all the time and it's, it's brand name. It's French's. I know what it tastes like. I love French's. So that's what made me get it. But there is another mustard at the Dollar Tree in a bigger container that is probably more worth $1.25. That was just cute to me. <laughs> And of course, your girl had to get tuna. So I love that they had the flake albacore tuna. Um, I love albacore. I like to half and half my tuna. So I like to use some albacore. And then they did have the bumblebee chunk light. So I like to mix mine. So I did get cans of tuna. So we can have tuna tomorrow because like I said, it's quite warm here. Quite warm. It's like you have to get to turning the air conditioners back on or something. It's really crazy how hot it got. The next thing I found, guys, were these uh, brown sugar and molasses baked beans. Now, I was excited to find these because we don't eat pork. 
and a lot of baked beans are made with bacon in it or something like that so when I go to my local grocer near me I'm always looking for the bushes vegetarian beans I always look for those if I have a taste to make some baked beans and I read this and it just said brown sugar and molasses so I read the ingredients and lo and behold there are there's no bacon there's no pork in this the only thing in here is beans brown sugar molasses tomato paste salt and natural flavorings yay so I really should have you know racked up on some of these I absolutely love baked beans sometimes sometimes I get a taste for like the baked beans and some grilled hot dogs or something so I kind of like to have baked beans like in the pantry already um like I say I really wish I'd have picked up more <laughs> because that's nice that's not always easy to find usually if you go to a dollar tree if you see baked beans it's gonna have pork in it it's it just it is um i'm not um you know oblivious to that so i was excited to see that um next i saw these hello panda little caramel um i want to say puffs i have had this before in chocolate and strawberry they're so good it's like a little cookie shell but this one has caramel and so i was watching um jewels and m and i will put them down in the description box as well um i love their channel they do foodie friday and i love to find the different or see the different foods that they try a lot of times they will do things from the dollar tree um but sometimes they will buy things from um, other places like maybe Walmart or something like that but they'll let you know in the video where they got the items and so I did see them try this she said they were pretty good so I got them Angel yes I did I picked up a bag of those to taste those like I said y'all I think I was on a snack hunt <laughs> um this next item I think that is all the food nope I got one more food item let's see I did see these pitted prunes and I don't know why y'all but I do I love prunes and I forgot who was showing these it might have been Marina a long time ago and I was saying oh I gotta pick those up so today they were literally in my face I was like let me get a bag so I could try them because I was buying like that tub or is it a tube it was like a tube of them and they were the ones so they're wrapped up individually and you could just take one or two you know throw them in the bag and go head on I love that so I did want to try these so I grabbed a bag and this is by Mariana Marani so I'm gonna give those a try as well yeah yeah a lot of snacks or food items not really a lot of snacks so this next item y'all already know I absolutely love Dollar Tree satin pillowcases and I got this one because guys I had got myself um more of a lightweight like blanket um quilt set like for these days you know on the bed i just wanted to kind of change my bed and y'all would never believe the the quilt that i found it's really lightweight but it's really pretty but it has these like flowers on it in black and white and so i was stunned when i came across this beautiful satin pillowcase i was like oh my gosh so i can probably kind of blend this in on one of the pillows just like as an accent pillow um oh my god this thing is gorgeous are these like i wanted to say roses but they're not roses i'm not sure exactly what flower that is but they are beautiful if you can see that and they will just go so well with my new you know bed uh quilt because like i said i just kind of wanted to take out all the winter and heavier blankets and i was kind of bringing out like those lightweight blankets and things like that for the warmer weather um next i don't know what happens to these guys so this is like the little comb and brush combo um and we use this like for the little sides here which i need now but oh well <laughs> but like we like to use these me and my daughter but please ask me what happens to them i do not know how many times i have purchased this brush i do not know and i told myself today i was not going to purchase it but i cannot seem to find not one of these brushes so i'm going to probably try to put this one up somewhere where i can always find it because for some reason when it goes in the bathroom it gets lost we, we never find them again so i'm going to keep this one near me probably in my room because i can never find it when i need it <laughs> this next item is a new find i thought it was really gorgeous i only picked up one but again there are three and again i will put those pictures on my community tab so you can see them but i thought this was just so so cool so it is and i don't need any more paper but y'all look at this it says celebrate freedom juneteenth come on dollar tree what i have never seen i don't think anything that like celebrated juneteenth 
at Dollar Tree. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen anything, but I have never. So these are uh, just plain paper notebooks, but look at this. And it does have the little strap. I thought this was stupendous. I was like, oh my goodness. And Juneteenth is definitely coming up again. Wow. Wow. And there are two more. But I picked up one because I was like, I got to have one of these. I have to get the, hey, it's kind of matching what I got on today. Absolutely love this. I just thought that was just, I felt like not a once in a lifetime thing. I just never seen anything like that at Dollar Tree. And I fell in love. I had to have that. Um, my next finds, y'all, in this bag, you know your girl love finding t-shirts. I walked into Dollar Tree, um, I want to say yesterday, and guys, when I walked into the Dollar Tree, to my left, there were literally about nine boxes of shirts, all kinds of t-shirts. I walked down that same front aisle, first aisle when I go in, hit the corner, there are another six boxes of t-shirts. I go over, because I have to go in every aisle, y'all. Y'all have to check everywhere in Dollar Tree. I go over two aisles. What do I see, guys? More t-shirts, but hanging up on hangers. So, I try not to go t-shirt crazy, because every time I see t-shirts at Dollar Tree, I'm always picking some up, but... Let's just say I, I think I picked up a shirt out of every spot where I found shirts, okay? So, and it was in three different spots. So, um, I did find this gray t-shirt. We're able to wear like a gray t-shirt to work. So, I always, if I ever run into them, I always grab them up, always. So, I just picked up another gray t-shirt in large. I think this is an adult large, but it looks bigger. It looks like it could be a man's large, but it just says adult. It is by Gildan. So, your girl had to grab that. And then these shirts came back, which I don't know, I guess it'll be put up for fall because it is so warm now, I won't need this. But these tops that had came out, y'all, that were hoodies with the string. And it's my favorite color. This is like green. It's a lime green, though. But the pink and the green, y'all. Um, I grabbed this up the last time I saw it. It's a long sleeve, so like I say, I'll probably be putting it away because it is so warm. I probably won't need it now. But guys, a long sleeve hooded shirt for $1.25. And I want to say this is by Hanes. Let me check. Um, I did purchase these a while ago. Gildan, I'm sorry. So it's by Gildan. Gildan. Um, and I think a pretty periwinkle blue. And I want to say maybe a green or something. But it's been a while. I, I picked them up a long time ago. So to see this beautiful pink, my favorite color, you know your girl had to grab that. I couldn't leave that in the store. <laughs> And then I, another shirt, I did pick up a shirt like this from the Dollar Tree. I want to say it's the same color, but it's not the same cut. I thought this cut of this shirt was really, really cute um, because it's kind of like a rounded bottom. So you can tell that it's like a woman's shirt. And then also the sleeve, it's like a cut, like that little, what? Do you see that sleeve? I love it. This is the perfect shirt to throw on with like a pair of shorts some sandals you know and you just go on about your day so this was the perfect little shirt for the summer so i had to grab it um when i got it home i was thinking to myself oh crap i have this shirt already but i was thinking no i think i have a shirt this color but not in the same cut so yeah i had to grab that and then this next shirt y'all i had to get this um only because very, very seldom do I run into a shirt at the Dollar Tree and it has something on the front. So you, I don't really see shirts that have like um, graphics or anything on the front. So even though this one will be probably more of a nightgown for me because it is way too big, yes. But I had to grab it because soon my daughter, she will probably be moving here because she has a job opportunity. So I had to get it, y'all. Look at that, y'all. It says Kelly. Oh my goodness, and I am loving the beautiful trees and the flowers. I thought this shirt was so, so, so cute. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't notice. So it's the, it's the shape of the state. Y'all, I didn't even see that when I picked this up in the store. $1.25. Can you imagine going to um, like a little tourist place and getting this shirt uh, buying it at a regular store and how much that would cost like if you were getting this as a souvenir come on y'all so i got it for a dollar 25 
I absolutely love, love, love that. Again, could not leave it behind. I was like, I know it's too big, but honey, it'll be a night top or something for me because could not leave it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for staying, you know, this much time because I think that's all the Dollar Tree stuff. But y'all, the piece de resistance, the done, y'all, the done. Oh my goodness. I am actually outdone. Um, because... Okay, when I first started collecting Ray Dunn, I used to look, well, I still do. I like to look at, you know, videos where people are showing, um, you know, the items that they found or collect. And in the beginning, I would always hear other people say, oh, I have a dumb buddy. You know, my dumb buddy found this or my dumb buddy found that. And at the time, I was, I think, running into a lot of maybe classic pieces or, um, basics they call them basics because i wasn't like it wasn't a holiday when i first started getting done it was like i want to say around this time of year it was like may or something like that so it was not anything major to shop for so i didn't know what to look for but anyway um i thought that you know the dumb buddy people were just so amazing and so i have to say i have a dumb buddy but i didn't even ask for her to be a dumb buddy so my beautiful beautiful um subby joy did it again y'all you are not just a done buddy you are a done angel <laughs> okay i have not um well for one i've been working and things like that so i have not had a big chance to kind of get out there and find some of the things that i want but the times that i have it's been nothing um or it's not been what i was looking for so i think this package came I just remember it was I opening it up on Mother's Day. I don't think it came Mother's Day, but I remember opening up this box. And quick little story with that. I, w I saw this package in my hallway and I almost bypassed it, Joy. Why? Because it was a name on the box uh, where it came from, I guess. The person that sent it. Um, we have a person in my building with the same name. Weird as that may sound. The first name and the last name initial are the exact same so when I saw that I almost walked past the boxes I thought it was my neighbor's box but I saw the word fragile and I was like read the whole tag so then I saw my name and I was like okay okay let me take this upstairs so I got it open and I opened it on Mother's Day and oh my gosh I was floored y'all floored so before I even show you what I found um, I have another present from Mother's Day that I did not show because it was done as well. But my oldest daughter, she got the chance to go with, you know, go out and do a little shopping. And she was looking for anything Tiana. She was looking for the Tiana mug because I was saying, you know, I haven't seen anything Tiana. Um, I haven't seen anything Wizard of Oz or any of that. And so I was like, you know, that's what I would really like. But we do like the other princesses as well. So my daughter... For Mother's Day, grab me the Cinderella Disney mug. Look, y'all. Oh, my goodness. And her blue dress. I'm going to cut this light down. It's so bright. I don't know if you can see it. But, yes, your girl is so happy. Sorry, guys. But, yes, her and her dress. So, I thought that was so, so cool. And, she was, and it has the cool blue on the inside. Yay. So, my first piece or my first Disney Princess Ray Dunn mug. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Your girl was too happy. So, she was like, you know, I don't, I didn't want to disappoint you. Um, but because I was really, really wanting Tayana, you know, for us. And I was like, it's okay. You know, thank you. You didn't even have to get that because, you know, it just, it was just a blessing just to get. So, I opened the box that Joy sent. And in the box, it had this card. It says, a magic smiles and fun, everything fun. Look at the rainbow, y'all. Look at the unicorn. So, so cute. And it says, may all your birthday wishes come true. Happy birthday, girls. So, she sent the girls a package. And I was like, the girls... Okay, but I do remember mentioning in one of my videos, my girls absolutely loved Princess and the Frog. We all do. My girls have watched that movie over and over and over through childhood up until now. One of their very favorites. So we, I knew Tiana was their favorite. And when I, I was like telling, I think one of my friends um, here in YouTube, Andrea, I was like, huh, if they come out with a Tiana, I got to get it. But unfortunately, I have not been able to find it. But guess who did? My done Angel Joy. Oh my gosh, y'all. So, 
Look at that, y'all. It's Princess and the Frog. Oh my gosh. Look at her, y'all. Look at that. She is exquisite. Oh my God. When I opened up the box, y'all, I could, we were all screaming and running around the house. Let me let you know that right now. We were just floored. We were laughing. We were like jumping up and down because like my daughter was like, oh my God, I was looking for that for you. And my younger daughter was like, oh my goodness, I was about to go online and try to see if I could find it. And Joy, you answered both their prayers. You answered all of our prayers because you sent it. Oh my goodness. This is really something that is just so special to us and like really sentimental. And I just cannot thank you enough, Joy, for being the done angel that you are. Because I have been on the hunt for that. And I've not seen it anywhere. So that is one of them. This is another one. It says, dreams are the spice of life. I absolutely love it. I love cooking. And my girls, when they would watch it, they love the idea of Tiana, you know, kind of cooking. And so this one is just so cool to us. This has her crown on the back. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't know. I just could not contain myself. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. So this one has the yellow because, you know, she has a yellow dress. But then this one has the green. Oh, my goodness. Yes, y'all. And then... Oh, yeah. And then we have another princess and the frog. But look what's on the back. It is her in her full gown. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I am just, <sighs> I am full. I, I have no other words. I, I have no words. So I had it all sitting. Let me see if I can sit them down in, back in the little box that I had them in. Uh, I want to kind of face the, okay, this was just amazing joy. Thank you so much. So I had to kind of sit down. Mm, I think I got that right. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to sit them all on this little box. That's how I brought them in my room. So I want to kind of put them back, but yes, y'all. This has been an amazing, amazing haul. And again, I want to thank you from the very bottom of my heart for not just making my dream come true, Joy, but you made my girl's dream come true. They were ecstatic and they give you all the love and they say thank you so much from the bottom of their hearts. We truly appreciate you, Joy. We really do. Um, again, I will name some of my favorite Dollar Tree haulers down in my description box because I want you to go check them out. Um, because like I said, you just never know what you may find in your Dollar Tree or what to be on the lookout for. Um, if you haven't already, hit that like. Hit that like, please. That really does help the channel. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I am still on that journey to my first thousand. And I need to check that, guys. I need to check where I am at. But I know I'm getting closer and closer with each and every new subscription or subscriber i love all you subbies whether you are new or you have been with me from the beginning i truly appreciate each and every one of you until the next video guys